morning guys today we are going to start one of the mvp 4 chapter it is also a part of mvp 5 which is known as sequences so sequences if i talk about it is nothing but a pattern and in that pattern you have to solve different different questions and find their answers okay so i'll first start with an example before starting the theory and formula for sequences okay so the first example i take is 2 5 8 11 and 14 so this is a sequence or a progression okay both are the same thing a sequence or a progression where 2 is the first term 5 second term 8 third term this is the 11th is the fourth term and 14 is the fifth term okay which means that second this position is the position for the first term this is the position for the second term and here in the first term 2 is here so how do we write given in this question we say that the first term is represented by a the first term is represented by a or sometimes it is rep represented by u1 so when you say u1 u1 means the first term so u2 means second term u3 means third term u4 means fourth term and so on so this is a finite sequence okay i just have limited it to five terms always it will start with the first term please note that okay it will never start with a0 or u0 always with the first term so you say that sir, this is the first term second term third term fourth term and fifth term now you have to go and difference and find the difference of it okay so i am going to write it here that a or u1 is my first term which is 2 now see how the pattern is formed here okay 2 you added 3 and you went to the second term 5 on 5 you added 3 you went to the third term 8 on 8 you again added 3 you went to the fourth term 11 and so on it means every time you are adding the same number to go to the next term which means that what i'm trying to say is that 5 minus 2 is 3 which means second term minus first term is 3 third term minus second term is again 3 fourth term minus third term is again 3 and fifth term minus fourth term is again 3 so whenever you want to find and what is this 3 this 3 is the common difference this is known as d which is nothing but common difference now you have to understand it common difference means if you see that all these numbers whatever are coming when you subtract the second term with first term third term with second term and so on if this number is constant throughout this number is same it means this is a linear progression so i'm going to write it here if common difference see the term common means it is common correct if common difference so there's no no uh, use of writing if the common difference is same if the common difference but still i'm writing for better understanding if the common difference is same okay this it is a linear progression it's a linear progression so the first two things which we are expecting in this particular sequence or progression is my first term which is 2 or u1 is 2 and common difference which is 3 okay these are the main two terms which we are looking for if you can find these two terms in any linear progression half 50 percent of your questions you have solved it okay so this is something this is very easy it looks very easy but sometimes the question comes in such a way that you are like uh, trapped into it i'm going to show you those questions okay so let's start with another example now in this example i am going to start with a bigger number and eventually i am going to go to the smaller number example i start with 50 45 40 35 and so on now this is my infinite series uh in front of series infinite sequence which means that i have not limited it to particular term okay it can go and it can go to minus minus 100 minus 105 so on okay. now the first thing what is a so everyone will go and write a is 50 <coughs> sorry or u1 is 50 which is the first term okay so this is first term if you say that this is u1 first term this is second term this is third term this is fourth term and so on okay now what is the common difference first of all let's see if the common difference is there or not 
most of the students when they reach here they start making mistakes and they write 50 minus 45 as 5 which is absolutely wrong understand you have to go with second term minus first term so 45 minus 50 is minus 5 40 minus 45 is again minus 5 35 minus 40 is again minus 5 and so on you can see that minus 5 is again coming same in the second level in the first level of difference which means common difference is minus 5 okay so i got these two particular inputs from this question so this is first part which is very important now understand if this 50 i write it at a if this 50 i write it as a which is the first term can i write this 45 as a plus d now what do you mean by a plus d a plus d means 50 minus 5 which is 45 it means every time you are adding common difference when you go to the right again from here you go to the right so 40 can be written as a plus 2d 35 can be written as a plus 3d and so on make sense see the first term i have written as a the second term is a plus d always now this is a general format you can apply this format anywhere in any sequence when linear sequence okay a the first term a plus d the second term after again you are going to add d so d plus d becomes 2d so a plus 2d the third term a again plus d a plus 3d the fourth term and so on now understand here the first term has a coefficient of d as 0 the first term has a coefficient of term because 0d you can write this one as a plus 0d a plus 1d a plus 2d so the coefficient of d is 0 here coefficient means we can write 5x square and 5 is my coefficient and x is my uh, 2 is my degree and x is a variable 5 is my coefficient x is a variable 2 is my degree or power so here the coefficient of d is 0 the coefficient of d here is 1 coefficient of d 2 coefficient of d 3 now i start with the pattern this is my first term and in my first term my coefficient of d is first term minus 1 which is 0 in my second term my coefficient of d is second minus 1 which is 1 absolutely correct in third term my coefficient of d is third term minus 1 which is 2 3 minus 1 in my fourth term the coefficient of d is 4 minus 1 which is 3 so in my nth term in my nth term whatever is the value here this will become a plus nth term so n minus 1 into d make sense and from there it comes with the formula of a of nth term it means at position n at position of n the value will be first term plus n minus 1 into d okay this is a very important formula for linear sequences or linear progression a of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 b if you want to verify it let's verify where n should be greater than or equals to 1 so i'm going to extend this one okay see n has to start from 1 until and unless they have exclusively mentioned in the question that n has to start from 2 3 5 any number but normally they don't give anything which means that n will always start from 1 this is a very important question i remember <coughs> sorry in one of the question it was regarding the journey from station to station and people have started taking from n is equals to zero and then they landed into trouble okay then please make sure that you understand this part n is greater than equals to one means if it is not given from where n starts from where this n starts you have to take it from one starting point and it can go till infinity i mean till n number of items okay so a of n is equals to a plus n minus one d put a at 50 n as first term to 1 minus 1 0 0 into minus 5 0 so first term is 50 go to a2 so how do you find a1 and a2 i'll go and say okay my a1 is first term is 50 plus 1 since n is 1 here so 1 minus 1 into d so 50 plus 1 minus 1 is 0 d 0 multiplied with any variable will always be 0 so it is 50 go to the second term a2 or u2 you can understand that in most of the books you are going to see u1 and u2 but you can write it a1 and 2 this is just for understanding okay this is a variable you have to look at the suffix so a plus n minus 1 this is the second term so 2 minus 1 into d 
which is 50 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 and d is how much? You see minus 5, which is 50 minus 5 is 45. You see? If you want to find the third term, okay, you can write 50 plus 3 minus 1 into d, which is 50 plus 2 times minus 5. Minus 5 into 2 becomes minus 10 and 50 minus 10 becomes 40. You see, the same the same series is coming, the same sequence is coming as it is there written above. Okay. So this is very important. You have to go with simple understanding. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. So go with very simple understanding in sequence that the first term can be written as A. The second term can be written as a plus d. The third term can be written as a plus 2d. Fourth, uh, fourth term as a plus 3d. So nth term will be written as a plus n minus 1d. Okay. Now, which type of questions are asked in question, uh, in examination? Okay. So I'll write one example. So I'll go with the first sequence which I have taken. 2, 5, 8, 11. Understand this is my first term, second term, third term, fourth term. When I say first term, I am saying n is equals to 1, n is equals to 2, n is equals to 3, n is equals to 4. Okay. Now the question says that find the tenth term of the sequence. Tenth term of the sequence. The sequence and progression are the same thing. Okay. Find the tenth term of the sequence. It means they are interested. This is what a1 a2, A3, A4. So they are interested in A10. Okay. That means that they are interested in A of 10. So just put A10 and a question mark. That is what you want to find it out. What is given, sir? A is given. I can see A is what? 2. What more is given? D is given. What is D? 5 minus 2. 8 minus 5. 11 minus 8. Okay. So you can write 5 minus 2. That is 3. And you see that 3 is there everywhere. If you minus this to subtract this to, this to, this to. 3 comes, so your D becomes 3, A becomes this. Now you are going to use the formula of this one. Suppose this is your 10th term. So you write A of 10 is equals to A plus N minus 1, N is 10. I am using this formula. Minus 1 into D, which is A plus 9 times D. Okay. Now what is A here in this question? You can say that A is 2 plus 9 times 3. 2 plus 9, 3 is 27. So 29 is your 10th term of the sequence. If you want to go like this also, you can go it. See, finding 10th term, you can go like this also. But school is not, I mean, examination are not going to give you number. Examiner is not going to give you number. Why? Because you have not used the sequences. You have not used the formula. You have not used its method. You just went in like 11 plus 3, 14 plus 3, 17 plus 3, 20 plus 3, 21, 21 plus 3, 24, 24 plus 3. In this way you are going, okay? So which is not correct. Make sense? We have to go by this way, okay? Just let me cross check 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29. Yes, 29 is coming in the sequence, okay? So this is the way you solve a sequence, okay? Make sense everyone? Let's go to another question. Okay. So if I ask you, if I ask you, what is my 10th term? So how you are going to write 10th term as? You are going to write 10th term, 10th term as A plus 9D. Stay forward. I am going to ask you, what is my 25th term? You are going to say A plus N minus 1D. So 25 minus 1, 24D. You have to understand this part, okay? If you understand this part, you can solve question quicker. A of 100th term, I have to find the 100th position. What is the value? So it becomes A plus 100 minus 1, 99D. Okay? I have to find it first place. First place means A. So A plus 0D, 1 minus 1. Okay? So this will make you understand how to take the questions. Okay? Now, let's see another example of sequences. So first example, what we have seen is they give you the progression and then they say you that find this particular term, maybe 100 term, 200 term. I have found the 10th term in the last question. Now what they are going to give you, they are again going to give you the progression. Okay. For example, I'll say that minus 5, 0, 5, 10, 
15 and so on. So the question will be framed in such a way that check if 100 is a part of sequence. Check whether 100 is a part of sequence. If yes, if yes, find at which term, at which term, at which term means they are asking you to find the value of n. At which term is it placed? Okay. Let me question mark. So now to, how to approach to this kind of questions. So first I'm going to write the sequence, whatever it is given here, minus 5, 0, 5, 10 and 15. Now my second objective would be to find A and D. My A is, I can clearly see minus 5 and my D is second term minus first term. Now people get again, uh, uh, I mean, uh, people do wrong here, okay? Why? 0 minus 5, they write minus 5. It should be 0, second term minus first term. So 0 minus of minus 5, which means 0 plus 5. See, 0 minus of minus 5, which becomes 0 plus 5. So the common difference is 5. If you want to verify it, go further. 5 minus 0, 5. 10 minus 5, 5. 15 minus 10, 5. So my first term is this. My common difference is this. I have to check 100 is a part of sequence. It means 100 will be placed somewhere as one of the element of this particular progression. So I'll use the formula A of n is equals to A plus n minus 1 into D. Now my A of n should be 100. So I'm going to put 100 is equals to my first term is minus 5 plus n minus 1 and D is 5. Here I have to solve for n. The first thing I have to do is apply Bedmas rule. So in Bedmas rule, first of all, you know that minus 5 is here. So you have to first multiply this one. You don't have to do the first addition. So better you take 5 on this side. Minus 5 on this side becomes plus 5. 100 plus 5 becomes 100 not 5. Is equal. So you open this to So 5 into n is 5 n. 5 into minus 1 becomes 5 n minus 5. Move from here to here and see. Now I can write 5 on this side and I can say 105 plus 5 is equals to 5 n. 110 is equals to 5 n. Now what is n? n is 110 by 5 which is 5 to the 10, 11, 10, 12, 20 second. Now your n is an integer. Okay. So if your n is an integer, which means they are saying at 20 second place, 10, at 20 second place 100 will be placed, which is absolutely okay. It means that n is equals to 22. So your first part check if 100 is a part of the sequence, then you are going to write yes, 100 is a part of sequence. And if yes, find which term it is placed, it is placed on the 22nd term. Okay. So this way you solve a question. What, how will, now the question comes, how will you identify that it is not placed? Okay. So now if I take in the same example, okay, I'm saying that now I'm not going to 100, maybe I'm talking about 99 or 98. So what, what is going to come when I put 99 here or 98 here, this n will not come as an integer. It will come in decimal or a fraction. Just, just, just think, can the number of term be in fraction? I mean, can you write first term, second term, 2.5 term? No, the position will always be an integer. First term, second term, third term, correct? In your class, if the ranking system is there, first rank, second rank, or you are running an athlete, or you are running a 100 meter race, it will be like, First, second, third. It will never be first, second, 2.5. Okay. So it's n should always be an integer. If n is an integer, then yes, this 100 has made its position, made its place in this sequence. If not, it has not made it. Okay. Perfect. So this kind of example of sequences. So yeah, this is an easy part of sequences. I understand that. Okay, we'll try to take some question and uh, we will see if you guys are able to solve this or not.